Brandon, I don't know if that te technique would work against a trained boxer. That punch is really fast. Well, I don't know what technique you're talking about, Brandon, but I would agree. Against a boxer, very little is going to work. You're going to have to grapple them quickly because they'll pummel you from a distance. And I know two professional boxers, and they're the nicest guys. And a lot of people don't realize that. They watch a martial art video, whether it's myself or anyone, teaching a technique. Oh, that would work. These people are so ignorant and have no clue about why we're teaching this stuff. What are the chances? First of all, let's do a little statistics. What are the chances of people out there in the world that practice martial arts? Do you know the percentage of people that practice? It's less than 1 or 2 percent. Way less of the world. Way less than that. Look how quick the odds have just gotten cut. Now, what are the percentage of people that actually train every day in the martial arts? You've just cut it way down to less than 1 percent of that worldwide. What are the chances that a professional boxer is going to get in a fight with you or a professional MMA guy? Like almost zero, almost not. Because, first of all, if they have any moral or ethics, they wouldn't fight you anyway. If you get in a bar brawl and the guy's a tenth down in judo, well, he's a jerk and his license is going to get pulled and his rank is, sensei is going to be ashamed of him because he broke all the tenets of judo. This is what people don't understand. We're training in martial arts to up our odds of survival. That's it. I never said I'm going to become a cage fighter or anything like that. If I did, I'd become a cage fighter. My martial art is designed for battlefield. It's designed to kill and maim people. But my goal is to never to have to use it because it's this that I'm training, not just your body. Your body falls apart. Your mind gets better with age like a fine wine. I need that wisdom. I want to become Yoda. That's my goal since I was eight years old. I'll never be there, but I'm trying. I'm working the path, dole the path. But when people compare martial art techniques and say, well, that guy would have hit you, it's not the point. We're showing you one small sliver of a class and one little lesson for that night. We're not showing you how to fight a professional boxer. That's ridiculous. Why would we put that on, the, on YouTube and the internet? And all of my friends who are professional martial artists are good people. They would never dream of getting in a fight. Yes, you have to spar, you have to test everything, you got to put the gloves on and things like that, but technique goes away in a fight. It's the first thing that goes is your breath and technique. And after that, you better know some technique or you're going to get your butt kicked. But you have to remember, the chant, we, we're dealing with odds here. Most people who are going to use their martial arts are going to be against someone they know. It's going to be an intimate attack. Probably a husband, a spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, co-worker. Someone, some weird freakish guy behind Walmart that tries to attack you in your car. Whatever it might be, that's when you're going to need this type of self-defense. You are not going to fight a Gracie brother. It's just not going to happen unless you're going into that ring and that sport. Other than that, you have to train with the odds. And the odds are you're going to defend yourself against someone who probably knows no martial arts, who's some drunk guy, and you're gonna, you're gonna easily win because you've trained. I hope, I hope that makes sense.